Hi friends, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. In this video, I'm going to talk about Spring Bean Lifecycle, Post Construct and Pre-Destroy Annotation. In Spring Framework, when a bean is instantiated, it may be required to perform some initialization to get it into a usable state. Similarly, when the bean is no longer required and is removed from the container, some cleanup may be required. So whenever you ask bean whenever you ask the container to give a bean it will call you a hook method okay so in the hook method you can do whatever you want so during the initialization of a bean and whenever the bean is removed from the container there is there are two hook methods we are going to see we can simply declare so I have a bean here component annotation I am using and I have two methods init and destroy okay init and destroy there are two methods and I'm using post construct and pre destroy these are two annotations coming from Java X so post construct means after the bean is created in the container this method will be called you can do whatever you want in this init method so it's like after I initialize the bean I might need to do something I have to call some method I have to set some variables so for that purpose we are having post construct annotation so this method will be called okay then during the whenever the bean is removed from the container so I'm I'm doing a register shutdown hook here this is for graceful shutdown if I don't call this you can't see this method destroy method you can't see this method calling so that's why I am using here register shutdown hook that is for graceful shutdown so whenever a bean is removed from the container destroy method will be called so here it's like it's like a hook method again spring container is giving you an opportunity to to release or you can do any cleanup or whatever you want in the destroy method let's see how exactly it works and this is a configuration file where beans are registered to the spring container so here I'm going to start this demo application so I have here annotation config application context which is going to read this Java file and load the bean definitions and I'm going to get the employee and I'm going to print it let's see how exactly works this post construct and pre destroy I'm going to start the debugging now let's see So the application context is creating. Can you see this? The containers, the spring container is called this init method. Since we have annotated with post construct, this method will be called once the bean has been created. So you can do whatever you want. For demo purpose, I'm just printing something. But in the real application, you can uh, initialize some variables, call a method, or whatever you want to do, you can do. Okay. So now the bean is created and the init method has been completed. So now I'm going to print the employee name and I'm going to call the register shutdown work. Now the bean will be removed from the container. So that's why this destroy method has been called. So pre-destroy. Before destroying, before removing from the container, if you want to do something, you can do in this pre-destroy annotation method. So I'm printing it here, but in the real application, you might clean up or you can release some critical resources so this is about pre destroy and post construct spring spring 3.x annotations and bean lifecycle hope this video is useful thank you and all the best